everyone, welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. We're playing through, I believe this is episode 6, so we're just gonna get into it. Um, we were solving some puzzles. All I know is I loaded into the game, um, here for a second and just heard screaming. So, um, there's that. Let's see where, where we continue to. Back to game. I believe we just took the elevator down, the spooky elevator. We just took the descent. Um, so this is actually us going into the actual descent here. Alright, so I suppose we can just kind of explore around here a little bit and just see what we can throw. I think I am supposed to- wait, oh, yes, that's the crashed elevator, right? Yeah, for some reason that's how that worked out right. And I think I was starting to make way this way with a little fluid area, so I don't know which way to go or anything, but I feel like I'm gonna go through all of my lantern fuel here. I think I heard steps to the right. What was that? Why do you say what was that? Oh. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. <laughs> Someone is coming. Hurry! I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. So there should be a hole under this bed. Hmm. Prison, northern block. I don't know that I'm ready to go down there yet. Let's, uh... So I didn't like go this way or anything. You know what? Never mind. I'm scared. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. I'm lost. I come sit over here. Okay, I'm lost. Um, off oh, brick. How did I just get lost? It was this room, right? It's October. The lock is very corroded and weak. You know what that means? Time to throw some things. Oh. Picked up a Where chipper. Is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. Oh, tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. So this room? Can we use this? Oh. Maybe I can use the sledgehammer on it. Oh, there we go. Did that break my hammer? No, I still- Oh! I have a hammer and a chipper. I combined them. That was- This was like a pointless room. I don't understand. Also, I'm guessing that the hole I didn't go down to um, needed to be wider. So... I'm guessing that that's what the chipper for was for. I just never even tried to go down there because I, I wanted to explore more first. And now I'm lost, so. Um, is this area one? I don't. I think we explored everything in area one. Yeah, because we went up to area two, right? But we can go down this way, too. So he walked by that way. Okay. Here's the, here it is. I think I looked at everything else, maybe. I don't know. Okay. They may not have had the time to make it wider, but I did. Let's go to the prison north northern block. A weird looking prison. Oh, this is the hole. <laughs> I was like, why are the walls look like this? This is the hole they dug. This is a really- dang. They must have just, like, never checked up on them. How'd they go both directions? Well, this isn't the right direction. Or maybe it was. Crystal clear, we're fine. We're good. How many times I gotta say it, y'all? Storage. Ugh, last time we were in the storage room, it was no good. I don't know where I'm going. Especially with all these distractions my cats are causing. Yep, I'm gonna Is blame them. Safe? Well, it's for his own good.
Well, he's not coming, so he should be. I should be okay, right? I'm gonna light this. I have so many uh, tender boxes, so I think I should start using them. It feels like the part of the game. I don't know. I have no idea how far we are into this game. I would love to. Like, I wish I could tell. Like, I wish there was like a progression bar that was like, "Oh, you're fifty percent complete." Like, I have no idea. He escaped. Where is he now? Uh, nowhere. I'm nowhere. I think we can go this way. Famous last words. Oh, here's a tinderbox and a note. Of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Oh man, I feel like we're slowly discovering that Daniel sucks. Nope, nope. I don't know what that was, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, but now that's situation. I don't know if he's after me or if that was just a sound, but I, I, uh, I'm not interested. We've been doing good so far as far as not dying to him. The goobly goblin. I'm gonna light this. So in the future, if I have to run back here. I have some light. I wish there was one on this corner. Is there? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's one down there. That would be smarter. If I see him come through this corner, I'm sprinting. I'm getting out of here. Okay, it was that one that I went through, right? Or tried to, right? It's open now. Guys, ooh! Y'all, I'm spooked. Luckily, I, you know, I'm playing Phasmophobia, you know, I- I- I'd say I'm, I'm pretty pretty decent at the game, so I'm pretty good at running away and hiding, so. Okay, so there isn't really anything in this room. We're gonna hope that he went that way and not this way, because this is where we originally saw him walk by. I don't know if there's multiple of them. I have no idea. Or how much of this is just my imagination. Hmm, okay. So it looks like we're probably looking for a key or, or something at least better to pick that lock. Oh, my light just died. That's fine. I really just want them to know where I've been, you know? So I just mess up everything. Trying to slow them down, you know? They gotta reorganize their stuff, right? Obviously that's what they're doing. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna help me. He's like right there. Wait for that music to calm down. He was really coming for me. I'm just gonna slowly inch my way towards and keep listening. If I go quiet at any point, it's because of that. Which I mean, I'll probably edit out the quiet parts, but it's purely because I'm just like full on listening here. This one's also locked. It's in very poor condition. Okay, and I got a memento for that. So let's see what that says. Uh, the gate leading out of this area is locked by a wooden pa worn padlock. So I wonder if I can just... Wait, what is that I picked up? A glass jar. Have I had that this whole time? Padlock won't break. It needs to be weakened further. Okay, I'm gonna light this. Since we'll spend a little bit of time here, it seems. So can I just throw something at it? Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! <laughs> I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. What do I do? What do I do? This is- Oh, is this it? What 
What do I do? What do I do? Do I just hang out here? Am I safe here? I don't know. Did he see me? Oh, no. <laughs> I think we're okay. Where'd he go? I don't know, but... Okay, let's see if this works. Is it working? You mean to tell me not all puzzles are gonna be solved by smashing into things? I love that we're getting like all these like I love I love how the storytelling aspect of this is. Even if it does confuse me, I'm hoping at the end I'll be like, aha! <laughs> or maybe not. Or maybe everyone else is like, I, we already had the aha, and you're just stupid. I, I would understand. Close this door for safety. Third of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. So are the servants these guys that are chasing me? Or is that just like saying that like, oh, they were like quiet around him and whatnot and listening in? I don't know. I honestly think, I feel like Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just a coincidence, or maybe I'm right. But I feel like how these like spooky scenes go, we see them, and then we run away. And then the music's like, doo, 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 doo. you know, the music that we're hearing currently is all like, oh, spooky. Until we like go to where he was and like see that, oh, he's not there anymore, we're fine. I could be wrong. Because I always feel like I'm like waiting forever, but then I never end up actually waiting for the music to go away. I just end up going and then it stops as soon as I get to where I was. See? See how the music stopped now? Because this is where I like just heard him. I don't know if that's actually how it is or what. I already went to both of these. Okay, here's the kitchen. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Moldy bread? 
So, yeah. Seems like maybe a lot of this happened because he touched an orb. How dare he? Okay. What? 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 Why do we hear him? Oh shit. What do I do? What do I do? Oh no. I don't think there's anything else I can do besides hide. I don't have any weapons or anything like that. Like, I can't fight him. I'm glad this game is not like Phasmophobia where they can like hear you talk. Oh, I thought that rat was his toes. Get out of here, rat. I just want to see him come over and just like rip the head off the rat. Don't tell on me. Get out of here, you little jerk. I don't hear him anymore. I don't hear him, so I think we're okay. Okay. Shut up! It's freaking rats. Okay. I think we're okay. It'd be kind of fun if there was like a after you play thing, there was like a uh, clips version of this. It, it, there was a clips version, and like every time there was a spook, you would. Uh, it would show like a third person like camera like security cam footage of you like running away and hiding and like see what your person looked like just cowering behind those pigs you know what i mean like that'd be fun and like it switches to where the the, the guy is so it like shows you like if you're being dramatic if he was right there type thing i don't know kind of interesting okay lost track of time there my camera turned off so that's unfortunate also sam i'm probably gonna start making these parts a little bit longer just because if you've made it this far um i guess is you're kind of invested in the game and, uh, yeah, I, I know it'd be nice to see it since I don't really get them out except for, like, once a week, so, you know, see, it's hard to tell after, to tell what it's gonna be after editing, but it depends on how much walking around I do, so, quite confused. I actually might, uh, look this up just to save some time here, so. Okay, that took a really quick, that took just a really quick Google to realize I definitely missed something in the kitchen. Alright, let's go back to the kitchen. I think it's this barrel here. Ow. Okay, we have a few of those health things, so I might as well use it. See, I didn't touch it earlier because I figured it would just hurt. I figured it would just hurt me if I touched it, and it did. Um, but it also told me that it was acid that I could pick up, which and then we can use that to burn the lock or well, melt or whatever. Help further corrode it. So now, can I break it? There we go. Nope! Run! Go! <laughs> oh no, that was- Oh! I did not like that. I- s Oh. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Okay, this seems like some intense puzzle game here. Um, okay. That's the door I just came out of. We absolutely do not want to go back there. What does it say? Prison. Okay, yeah, we just want to make, I just want to make sure that I like keep that in my brain. If it says prison, northern block, I absolutely do not want to go back there. Water is too deep to divert, traverse safely. Hmm, okay. See what that momento said. To enter the sewer, it must be first drained. Okay. So we need to drain it so we can enter the sewer. Okay, well this seems like a great puzzle to start off um, next episode with so if you're wanting to see that make sure to stick it out hopefully next week we'll have that next part out 
for you. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. We got a couple little spooks in there. Got to navigate the prison. And, um, yeah, it was quite fun. So, yeah, thank you so much and see you later.